We're now going to see another approach that uses the very well-known Python library known as NumPy. In order to use this module, we are going to use an import statement that looks like this. It's conventional to abbreviate NumPy as NP. Although it's not required to do that, this is a convention that you should follow because pretty much everyone who writes code using NumPy follows this convention and it will make it easier for you to reuse other people's code if you do the same. So the approach that we're going to see now is known as vectorized computation. NumPy defines a new type of object known as an ND array, which stands for n-dimensional array. We'll talk about what that means later. An ND array object is specifically designed for vectorized computation. So the first part of the script, other than the import statement, is the same as what we had before. We create, or almost the same, we create one of these ND arrays using the NumPy array function. We basically feed a normal list into it and it turns it into an ND array. Then what we see is that if we want to perform the conversion on all of the items in this list, all we need to do is basically multiply the array by the conversion factor. And the vectorized computation approach means that every element that's in that ND array will have the operation that we're doing applied to it. So we don't need to do a loop and step through each item. Every item in the array will be multiplied by the conversion factor automatically. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how this works. So first I'm going to go ahead and do the import. Then I'm going to turn the uh, price list array that I had before into an ND array using the array function. And I can see that although the printout of this array looks similar to the printout of the list that I had up here, um, the, when I ask the type of that array, it's not a list, it's and NumPy in D array. You'll also notice that there is a slight difference here. When we printed off lists, the list items were separated by commas, but when we uh, print off an array, they're not separated by commas, they're just separated by spaces. So that's a slight difference. So now we can go ahead and perform this uh, operation. And we see that uh, it just simply took each of the items that was in our original array, each of the elements, and performed the operation on them. So in this case, what we were doing was to multiply the array elements by a single number. But we can actually do um, a more uh, complex operation that involves two arrays. So I am going to create a second um, array, which I'm going to call price increase. So let's just imagine that the prices that I had in the first array are all going to increase by the amounts on this list here. So I'm going to go ahead and create this. <clears throat> And what I can see is that if I um, just simply take the first array and add it to the second array, I don't have to do any loop that steps through each item in the array. In fact, it will just do a pairwise addition. So the first item on the first list added to the first item on the second list 
produces the first item in the output list. The second item is on the, the second element on the first array is added to the second element on the second array, and the output is into the second element of the uh, resulting array. And so this uh, pairwise addition of all of the elements in the two arrays producing a corresponding element in the answer array is another example of vectorized computation. So this time, instead of multiplying an array by a number, we are adding two arrays and producing a third array. Now notice that I cannot do this with lists. If I try to do a similar thing, where I take the, um, the lists that I started off with before I turn them into arrays, if I use the plus operator, you may recall that the, the plus operator simply adds the items on the first list to the items on the second list. So what I end up with is just one long list that has all the items, but it does not do this pairwise vectorized operation like what I saw when I did this to the uh, two ND arrays. So just to summarize, if we want to compare the two approaches, what I'm calling the procedural approach requires that whatever operation we do be applied to each item one at a time. The vectorized approach automatically applies the operation to all the elements in the array at one time. Not only is this uh, convenient and more streamlined in terms of the coding, but it also is a much better uh, it's much better in terms of the efficiency and the speed. So if you carry out uh, operations on NumPy arrays, they typically happen 10 to 100 times faster than if you perform the same operation uh, using a for loop on a normal Python list. So there's a huge performance boost if you use NumPy, and that's why uh, NumPy is is very prevalent in uh, numerical computing involving large data sets.